here I am again at work and some news drops. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon SQ Productions and Team RTFC welcoming you to yet another episode of The Good Times Newsline Flashcast. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. This is also what's going to be, of course, an Evercast preview. This is Evercade-related news we're about to talk about. So, of course, we're going to be talking about this um, on the Evercast this Saturday. Don't miss it. Um, but first, we've got to slide right into the news. And what is that news? Oh, of course, that news is the EXP is a go for December 15th and the UI reveal. So we've been seeing all sorts of cool things. Um, they've been teasing all the different areas uh, Blaze has on their Twitter account saying, oh, hey, you know, UK users, you're going to be able to get your stuff on the 15th. And, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. And then like the next day, it's like, um, you know, like Germany or Spain or whatever, all the regions in, um, in, in Europe. And then all of a sudden I started to think, wait, what about the US? Like, is, is US users, Canada users? Oh, Canada came today. All right. So it was like, okay, we'll breathe a little sigh of relief. And I'm sure the US is probably tomorrow or something like that. So, um, but the even better news is on Discord, uh, Sean himself um, on the announcements Discord says, so, so good news. Uh, the good news is everything is on course to get Evercade EXP to you from September or from December 15th. So he is confirming that it is it is going to happen. Um, everything's on track. It's ready to rock. Um, and then he was like, oh, yeah, uh, better news is um, the UI tour is back and uh, check out the school video. So um, so I'll have the video linked, I think, down below in the description. If not, I think the on all these videos, Evercade, um, Evercade's main YouTube channel is also linked down below. So go in there, um, check it out with me if you want. Um, but let's just jump in and take a little sneak peek. I'm going to bop around on the video. I'm not going to play the whole thing. We're going to go in here, pick up some cool tidbits uh, and talk about it. So let's rock. All right. That's really cool. I like I like the Evercade EXP. Evercade thing. EXP and um, new features look at that guy. He's got a cool Evercade shirt on, uh, by the way. Um, users, and uh, that's a brand of course, he's rocking his EXP, going through. Some got some Alma's Awakening Cathedral in there. Pretty neat. Evercade pretty Evercade decent. Pretty decent. As quickly as possible. Um, and what Sean is saying oh, is Sean uh, doing this video. Evercade what he's what he's saying is he's going to go over all the features, right? Um, so first thing here device, is um, the, power the, the power button is going to be just like the Evercade VS. Device. So you got to press and hold, the the console, and then the machine comes on. It's not just a slider, uh, which I think is actually convenient because the slider in my old OG Evercade um, is actually getting a little wonky on one of them. Um, so it's, it's very helpful to have like the press and uh, um, the press and hold. Um, it's very cool about the light. The light indicator on the console itself is really nice. That's on the bottom. So you got to, you know, like look at it, but, um, you know, we can go back actually and, and, uh, and, and see, um, what Sean has to say about that. Uh, so I'll let, let him, um, I'll let him go, uh, there. Just give me a second and let's get it currently at. If the light is flashing green, this means the console is starting. Once it has finished, it will be a solid green before deactivating. If the light is red, then that means the console is charging. If it is flashing red, this means that the battery is low and needs charging. This will also flash if the console is off and it has too little power to turn on. When the light is flashing purple, this means the new screen dimming feature is in action, but your console is still on. You can select how long it takes for your screen to dim from the console settings menu. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got the, got the nice little screen dimming feature. Um, that's a nice, it's a nice, uh, nice feature in there to have, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, of course, they're talking about the, um, the built-in games thing. Um, you know, we, we already know Capcom Collection is going to be in there, but what else is there? Let's, let's hop forward a little bit in this video here. And Strider built-in and playable. Wrong button. 
Um, so we've got these cool menus in the EXP menu. Um, you've got the Capcom games in the EXP menu. You've got the hidden games in the EXP menu. Um, so most of these games are the same that you can unlock on the VS, but there actually is a counter now and a dedicated menu. And when they're unlocked, you can actually go to this unlocked menu and just kind of experience them without having to put in the codes again, which is nice. That's a nice feature. Um, and that feature right there, the coming soon feature um, that was just shown, uh, means that, of course, uh, EXP users will be able to enjoy Game of the Month just like uh, VS users, which is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, let me hop around now and go to some other things here. Um, <clears throat> they're talking about Tate mode. Um, Tate mode is just simply a button on the bottom. There's the T button. You hit the button. It automatically switches. There's no extra menu you have to go through. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, that was pretty neat. Game will now also show um, so <clears throat> they were talking about competition mode in, in a little bit. This right here, I want to pause on. Um, let me go here. Oh. You've got all sorts of cool features here where you've got uh, a coin, coin limiter. You've got statistics that you can play, um, time played, how many times you've, how many times you played, how many loads you had, how many saves you had, um, which is very cool. Very cool to see these statistics features in here, um, and then of course the coin limit feature on all these arcade games is you can actually set it so you can only use so many coins before it tells you you can't put any extra coins in. So um, I don't know how often I'll use that feature because I love the infinite quarter effect of playing these games, but. Um, having the coin limit feature for challenges is kind of cool, uh, for sure. Um, then um, I'm going to let him play the uh, new bezels and themes thing and uh, just take a look at this. Much like the Evercade VS and the Evercade Handheld 2.0 update, the Evercade EXP also comes with themes and bezels, including some new ones exclusive to Evercade EXP. These are Blue and Gold, the iconic color scheme of Capcom. It's kind of cool looking. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging XP, it. A new thing this one's with really the same cool. Vibrant backgrounds you'll find on the Evercade EXP packaging. Yeah, very very cool. Evercade grid. Originally a bezel, this new grid theme will bring a clean look with that retro gaming vibe. Yeah, in I addition like, to the I like theme, that too. There is also That'll probably be EXP um, bezel. things that all bezels um, have been updated for be Tate using mode as in well. Videos and stuff. I'll probably use that that clean one. Display features. We've added some quality of life features to the Evercade EXP display settings to help prolong your gaming. Familiar features from the previous Evercade consoles also return, including the pixel perfect display mode, scan lines available on games and on the menu, along with a new feature, dynamic rate control, a new technical cool. feature which will help make games that run at non standard refresh rates more synchronized. And all of this will work in That's both definitely standard a cool feature. and Tate mode. Much like the Evercade VS. And then they go through the the, uh, the fact that it has Wi-Fi. You could do your updating and all that kind of thing. Um, and then there's the end of the video. But the cool thing about the the display thing, and it's weird that they didn't actually put the um, the actual screen where it could show you the, the light dimming feature um, on this one, um, on, uh, on this part of the video. But, um, you know, you know, it's in the display settings, you know, it's in here somewhere, but um, it is kind of cool that dynamic rate control, though, I'm, I'm very interested to see how that actually works when you're playing your game. So, um, so very, very cool stuff. Um, the EXP to, to wrap this up, the EXP is they're they're on their way, you know, like that's that's awesome. You know, if if everything is on course to get it to you for December 15th, then you know what that means um that means that shipment notifications might be going out for those that are ordered on fun stock as early as maybe next week you know so you know like here we are on wednesday the 30th um i'm thinking maybe i get a fun stock email that says you know a box is on the way um you know I, maybe maybe on the eighth maybe on the ninth you know like not saying that i'm gonna get it but you know like that they put it in the box to send it that would be kind of cool Mm. when it gets here of course we're going to jump jump into that thing we're going to dive in um and we're going to rip this thing rip this thing open get in there as soon as possible um very excited
very excited. I mean, it's here. It's happening. It is absolutely happening. Very excited um, that this is a, a thing. And I can't wait to talk about this more with the gang over on the Evercast. Of course, we're going to have a blast talking about all that kind of stuff. So um, just wanted to put out this cool, quick video. Um, I haven't done a news line in a really long time. Um, feels good to be doing it. Feels good to be hanging out, talking to you guys. So um, what, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, you know, go and watch the full video too, because it's it's cool. Sean did a really good job. Uh, and the reason I kind of jumped around and, and didn't like show the whole thing was because you know what? I go give him the clip. Um, it was a cool video and it was really, really cool. Um, it was really, really nice. So anyway, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. Um, of course, tune in to the Evercast um this Saturday. 11 a.m. EST, as always, it's me, it's Ed, it's Pete, it's Crow. Come on. Come on over, hang out with us, talk about yeah, Evercad EXP some more, um, get in the chat, get in there, get get some questions ready. And there might be maybe um, some cool little things that we might want to talk about you, talk to you about uh, that are very Evercad related and uh, very Evercast related. A little tease for you there. Um, but anyway, um, this is going to go out post today's video which is um the galco arcade one and two collection fun for five um i'm going to delay it like two or three hours just kind of give my video a little bit of breathing room i'm pretty sure i'm going to get beat out by pete and you know the crow if he wants to do one or ed that's okay this video is just here because i'm excited you guys should be excited and i appreciate even though you might be getting this news third hand that you guys came over and stopped by and said hi. So thank you for that. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich. That's me. And we will see you later. All right. Take it easy, guys. Take it, ice cream, dot com.